The number of new HIV infections could have reduced by nearly three times over the past six years. This is according to a new report released by the National AIDS and STIs Control Program that also shows HIV prevalence remains highest in the Nyanza region. In good news though, the country has been found to be making strides in the right direction, with majority of HIV patients now carrying low account of the virus, meaning less harmful that could be attributed to the reduced infections. Sam Gituku now unpacks the statistics that could define the next phase of Kenya's war on one of the most stubborn viruses in the world. 16 years since the country redefined the war against HIV and AIDS, progress continues to be registered, the latest figures depicting a consistent decline on new infections. In the study conducted between June 2018 and February 2019, there were only 36,000 new HIV infections compared to 106,000 in 2012. The national prevalence rate having declined from 5.6% in 2012 to 4.9% 4 now, meaning in every 1,000 Kenyans, 49 are likely to be HIV positive. 1.3 million adults and adolescents aged between 15 and 64 years are estimated to live with the virus, while 139,000 children between 0 and 14 years are HIV positive. But the virus is highest in the Nyanza region, with Homa Bay County reporting 19.6% of prevalence. Other counties of Kisumu, Siai and Migori have each more than 13% prevalence, meaning in every 100 people, 18 are likely to be HIV positive in Kisumu, 16 in Siaya and 13 in Migori. We have reduced it from 27.6 to 19.2. It's, it's not a mean achievement. We have increased co compre comprehensive care centers so that people can be able to access them, to be able to be checked, to be tested, and if you have found that you have got that uh, disease, you should not be worried. Go for, uh, pick up your medicine and, and take them. What is happening in, in my county, for example, is that people, some people became complacent about HIV, knowing that ARVs are there anyway. So we find that people who should not really have uh, been infected, get infected because of complacency. Current HIV strategic plans and efforts in HIV prevention are already focusing their efforts in the top five high prevalence counties. The figures contrast significantly with the northeastern region, which reported less than two HIV positive residents in every 1,000. Of those residents sampled in Garissa County, none tested HIV positive, but they still give it a prevalence of less than 0.1 percent. But there are counties that are consistently registering a rise in the viral infection. Kisi and Trukana counties now have a higher prevalence, reaching 6.8% in Trukana. Those counties do deserve attention to try and understand uh, why the prevalence is that high and what needs to be done to prevent new infections and to ensure that everybody who's infected is, is getting treatment. Nationally, women are two times more likely to be HIV positive than men. While different explanations have been offered, including that men might have poor health-seeking behavior and therefore likely not to be aware of their HIV status and thus risking their survival, the female gender remains more prone to infection. Younger women between 20 and 34 years of age were found to be three times more likely to be HIV positive than their male counterparts. You have a higher number of women being tested and a lower male number of men being tested. So you're bound to diagnose more women. I think you have seen the Chukua selfie, issues of HIV self-testing, which is in the public sector is free, but outside is 500 shillings, the self-test kits. And the other, so addressing the young persons, we have a challenge. According to UN AIDS targets, the country should have reached a 90% of awareness of status among those that are HIV positive by 2020. The survey, however, showing that as of 2018, only 79.4% of persons that are HIV positive were aware of their status. The target being to promote the awareness, put those HIV positive on a treatment program, and ultimately suppress the virus in their blood by 90%. With a low awareness among men especially, the national viral load suppression is at 71.7%. This means that the virus in a patient's body has been reduced to levels that are not harmful and therefore unlikely to be passed on to other persons. Men and children are trailing women by recording 65.1% and 48% respectively. The level of infections to infants and children remains higher than the general population 
experts opining let diagnosis among pregnant women. Every transmission to an infant merits special investigation. What went wrong? Why were the services not delivered? The survey reached over 35,000 adults and children in 18,000 targeted households across the 47 counties. It's not in doubt that the fight against HIV and AIDS is gaining momentum and yielding results over the years, but a challenge still remains in controlling new infections, and especially among the young and women. Sam Kitukusri TV, Nairobi.